that was not supposed to happen. I've got dog shit all over my camera. Some people don't like it, even though it's perfectly legal. If I really, really wanted to play golf, I would play golf. What's the geezer? DJ audits. I'm such a philosopher. Nice. Dog shit everywhere. Howdy gang, in this video, I'm back out on the glorious Canuck Chase with little Ted here. We're gonna head up this hill here. I'm gonna find a nice spot, we'll stop, we'll have a drink, we'll have a little bit of a chat, and we're gonna enjoy this sunshine while it's here. Catch you up there. Bloody hell. So I'm right by... Oh no. Oh no. You are not gonna believe it. Look what's just happened. That was not supposed to happen. I've got dog shit all over my camera. For fuck's sake, pardon my French. I think I've got some wipes with me. Oh man. So basically what I was gonna say was, I'm right next to a golf course, as you can probably see, maybe, don't know. There's part of it there. And the golf ball literally just landed right there in the rough as I was walking past. And then I looked back and I can just see my camera doing that. And unfortunately, it's got all dog shit right on the corner there. Right, I'll come back to you in a sec when I've sorted it out. Nice. Dog shit everywhere, love it. So we're back up and running guys, luckily. I had some, uh, I always keep some antibacterial wipes with me anyway, and some, um, some of the hand sanitizer, you know. So yeah, I've managed to get it all off. Um, while we're here, you can see, we've got some stunning views. So that right there, at the moment, I am in a place called Hazel Slade. In the distance there is Hensford, and we are currently walking up alongside the Bow Desert Golf Club. Um, it's up at the back end of Canuck Chase, like towards Longdon, Upper Longdon Way. Um, I think it's called Bow Desert. It's either Bow Desert or Bow Desert. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, but it's absolutely beautiful. Lovely day. And um, yeah, as I said, I'm going to carry on up here and um, I'll catch up with you when I'm ready. Sit down and make a coffee. See you in a bit. <laughs> he bloody loves it. Like a pig in shite, ain't you, Ted? Right? Oh, naughty words again. I need to watch that, really, don't I? If you've uh, watched the last video, you'll know what I'm talking about. And also, reference to the last video, let me just zoom in. You'll see there the... BT tower that I was near in that last video. I gave you a little bit of info about it as well. So you can see just how big Canic Chase is. There's quite a lot of area to cover and it really is a stunning place to visit. Right then, I think I'm gonna stop here. We'll make a drink. Um, I am on the main path, as you can see, but uh, it's really quiet up here, to be honest. You know, there's uh, 
plenty of people on the golf course, but people walking and hiking up here, it's really quiet. And I've got a stunning view. Look at that. Let's just zoom in again for you. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get my stall out, get my stove on the go, and uh, yeah, we'll have a little drink and chill out for a bit. Ted, come here. And what I like as well, there's plenty of open space for this little one, how you doing fella, to uh, just roam about and do what he wants to do. I can keep my eye on him and we're all good. Right, so I'm gonna set up and uh, we'll have a little chat. I've had a, a little look around and if it was to fall over again, there's no dog shit this time. So, <laughs> I mean, sod's law that, innit? Of all the places to fall, mental. Little stall off Team U. Banging this is. Super easy to set up. That's it. Job done. Job done, Ted. Right, let's have a look what we got. Waiter. Got me sag. Me gum. Me cook set. Again, guys, reference to the last video. If you've just come across my channel and you're watching me for the first time, I'll show you all this cook set in the previous video. Go watch it. Um, Boundless Voyage, you'll see it on the thumbnail. Where's my stove? Don't say I've got my stove. No. I've got it. I'll get you a drink in a minute, Ted. Right there. Right there, boy. Once again, Oat Latte by Kenko. We'll get you a drink now, Ted, eh? Yeah, get you a drink now. You want a drink? Hold on. Ted. Good lad. Coolio, just wait for that to boil then, Ted, eh? Like I said, guys, there are loads of people playing golf. There is no way in hell that you saw that ball, is there? <laughs> So let me know in the comments, guys, are you into golf? Or are you more of a, a hiking man like me? My brother and uh, my brother-in-law are into golf. Yeah, I don't know. I think I probably could get into it. I like the walking element of it. Um, 
and I can pretty much I can pretty much get good at anything I put my mind to. Because um, if you didn't know, like I am pretty awesome. Um, no, all joking aside, I think I probably could get into it, but it's finding the time in it. It's like I've already got loads and loads of hobbies, this being one of them. I don't really want to add to it. You having fun there, Ted? And I suppose it really comes down to the, the fact that it's like most things in life, isn't it? If I really, really wanted to play golf, I would play golf. And um, yeah, I'm not, so obviously I don't. Obviously, I want to do this because this is what I'm doing. Um, God, I'm such a philosopher. <laughs> All right there, Ted, you having fun? He's like a pig in shit when I bring him over here. You'll notice that Austin's not with us. Um, I have taken them for a walk earlier, just like round our estate, because Austin, it, Austin can't come over here now. It, there is no way that he would have been able to, to get up that hill. So it's one of them lot. I do feel guilty, <coughs> excuse me. I do feel guilty leaving him, but what can you do? It, you know, it's, it's not fair on Ted. Like, to, to go without so yeah I, I, I took him earlier um, we, we, we put Austin back on his bed at home give him a little treat and that and he'll be sounder he will be sounder um, we'll get a little clip of him when we get back home I'll, I'll put it on to the end of this video we'll, we'll, you know, we'll see his reaction when we get home but yeah he's an old boy now um, it's horrible to, to see him you know go downhill like he is but it's life in it. It's the life cycle, unfortunately. Death is a part of life. Oh, the philo, the philo, the philo, the, philo, the philosophical approach from what, from Deggers. Unfortunately, it is what it is, isn't it? Wait, again, don't take long that, don't you know? Spot on. This is definitely going to be my go-to now. I think like, ev oh, what's that? I think like even for my wild camps and my staff camps, like don't get me wrong, I like to cook like on the camp stove and now have like shall we say like a more hearty meal than a dehydrated meal but the thing is with this it's just so easy and you know for me a big part of coming out on little mini hikes like this and you know going on wild camping it's more about that and the views and the scenery and just enjoying the outdoors than it is about the food because if you have watched any of my previous videos or if you go and watch my previous videos, you'll notice that whether I've cooked burgers and veg and like cooked like a little bit more of a substantial meal or whether I've had a pot noodle or just something really simple, I absolutely love it regardless of what it is. I don't know what it is. There's, there's something about being out on a hike or out while camping you know, you've used up a lot of energy and you're out in nature and you basically just, you've, you've got the bare basics, you know, to cook your food. It doesn't really matter what it is. It can be a cup of soup. And when you're in these set of circumstances, it just tastes amazing, absolutely amazing. You just can't beat it. And again, you know, I'm so lucky to have this on my doorstep. Really am blessed. It's, uh, 
it's just a bit of a shame at the moment because like when Austin was younger, you know, you going back like seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, I was pretty much over here every day. But unfortunately, you know, the last couple of years, the last 12 months more so, since I got into the YouTube a little bit more and started taking it a bit more seriously, you know, Austin just can't, he just can't do it anymore. And like now it's pretty much like non-existent. It's, the, it's pretty pointless bringing him over here. So yeah, it's a shame really. But Teddy's loving it. Ted, come here. Come and say hello to everyone. Come here, Baba. Come here. Come and say hello. Come here, Baba. Yeah. Ho, 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 ho. Say hello to everyone on YouTube. Look. Hello. Oh, you just saw him hit that ball, didn't you? Aye. You ain't going to find that, I'm telling you now. It's way too fast for you, lad. Oh, he's off. He's going to go and try and get the golf ball. Nah, you aren't. He's a good lad. He's a good lad, ain't you, Ted? Aye. Go on, go and have a sniff. I've got all the gear, haven't I? Aye. Mind you, I heard my bro in law the other day going on. We went out for my brother's birthday. We went and had a, a roast at the. Oh, what was it? The duck with two heads, was it? No, the swan with two necks. Yeah, the, <laughs> the duck with two heads. <laughs> the swan with two necks in Longdon. Not far from here, actually. And uh, yeah, my brother-in-law was reeling off a load of, uh, I think it was golf clubs that he'd bought on uh, Marketplace. Again, it's just another thing, isn't it? I mean, this, this hobby over the past year, you know, I wouldn't say it's cost me a fortune because I've been really sensible like with the purchases that I've made and, you know, most of the time I've bought when there's been a sale on and stuff like that. But it can, you know, it can be a proper expensive game, can't it? And that's the thing, you know. I mean, you can't take your money with you, so you might as well enjoy it while you're here. But at the same time, you know, how much more stuff can I cram into my life anyway? You know, maybe I'll go and have a round with them one day, show them all how it's done. <laughs> as if. Yeah, it is like, it's more of a mature man's game though, isn't it? Like, you know, like, I am, I'm quite a fit fella. And, uh, you know, as I'm getting older, I can feel myself like starting to slow down and wanting to slow down. So, who knows, maybe in the future, my channel will be, I'm not going to say my channel's going to be gone. There'll be a couple of videos on my channel where I'm out playing golf. Who knows? Who knows what the future holds? It is the type of thing, though, really, that I suppose would suit me. I mean, it's outdoors. Walking. You're just adding the... Hitting a ball with a bat, ain't you? Club, I know. I know, golfers, it's a club, not a bat. <laughs> what's weird is I do like coming out here and just enjoying the peace and quiet so obviously there are moments there's, a, there's always a good half an hour where I just enjoy like what I'm doing and I'm not on camera and I'm not talking to to people that are watching my videos or potentially watching my videos. But what's weird is I do actually like doing this and shooting the videos because even when I'm all alone and there's not anyone about, there's not a person in sight, like there's loads of people about here, as you've seen, you know, doing their rounds of golf and stuff. But even when I've been up in the Peak District and I've been in the middle of nowhere and what have you, 
and there's no one about because I'm filming a video and I'm talking to the camera, it feels like I'm not alone. It's a weird thing. But I love doing it anyway. So long may it continue. I don't know what 2025 is going to hold in terms of what I'm going to be doing with my channel. Obviously, I'm going to be doing more outdoorsy stuff and more camping, more hiking videos. But at the end of the day, the channel is called Hang Out With Deggers. And I don't just want to keep rotating the, the same content. Like if I go somewhere new um, to, to do a wild camp and that, yeah, great. Um, that, that'll that make a, like a different video. But essentially, it's still someone walking to a summit somewhere, walking to a peak somewhere, in some woods somewhere, setting up a tent, cooking some food, and just talking to the camera. I'd like to add some more stuff in there. Give me some suggestions, guys, for 2025, what I can do on my channel. Um, I'd like to think that I can keep up the whole a video per week, but then I don't want it to be repetitive, like I've just said. So what other things could I do on my channel where you guys can come and hang out with me and actually be interested in watching as well. Because I've not done too bad with my subscribers. I think I've more than doubled my subscribers this year. I'm happy with that. You know, that's, that, like I've said before, that is a bonus. You know what, Ted? That is a bonus. Um, I've had some lovely comments, especially recently. I've had a couple of bad ones as well. You know, you're going to get that. That's fine. I, I ain't got a problem with that. When you put yourself out there, you've got to expect that. But, um... But yeah, getting back to the point, let me know, guys, in the comments, what would you like to see on my channel? What could I do? Would you like to see more drone footage, let's say? Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing things like, um, what's the geezer? DJ audits anytime soon. Don't really want to be getting into confrontations with people. I've got another channel called Discussions with Deggers where... I do talk to people, but maybe I could just, like when I'm out like this, maybe I could go around some towns and cities and ask questions, ask people, ask just like random people questions. Um, that could be a good one. I've seen like other YouTubers doing things like that. Um, but yeah, people can be funny, can't they? Like when you've got a camera out in public, some people don't like it, even though it's perfectly legal. It's one of them, you know? Would it get views? Are people interested in that? Guys, let me know in the comments. Right. As always, guys, I'm going to finish this. I'm going to chill out for 15, 20 minutes. Just sit here in silence. Enjoy the nature. Have a little moment with Ted. And then uh, I'll come back to you when I'm packed up. And we're off back down to the car. See you in a bit. Down, guys, all packed up on our way back down to the car. See you in a bit. Got to do the obligatory foot shot, ain't ya?
Come on, boy. Good lad. <laughs> Teddy, come here. Ted, come on. Good lad. Good boy. Come on, Ted. I mean, he's 12 this month. And he's getting a little bit knackered now, I think. Come on, Baba. Nearly back at the car now. Guys, we're nearly back at the car. So I'm going to leave it there for now. I'll catch up with you when I'm back at home. And um, we'll just we'll sign off the video with our little Austin. All right? I'll come back to you soon. See you in a bit. Hello, old boy. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah, we know you're here, Ted. How are you? How are you? You ain't left us any prizes, have you? Yeah, you ain't left us any little presents? No, not today. Yes, all right. Yeah, your dinner's coming now. Your dinner's coming now. Bear with me. Just bear with me one second. Right, guys? Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I will see you on the next one. I've got to go and get them the dinner because Teddy's shouting at me, if you hadn't noticed. So, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me, guys. And I'll see you next time. All the best.